Mirio's original. Hello and welcome to Web Crawlers. This is our Friday Night Live show. And it's a super exciting live show because um, I'm blonde now. I'm going, well, yes, good point. Uh, <laughs> Melissa is blonde. That's what you were going to say, right? Also, <laughs> yes. And I was also going to say I'm going to be taste testing some hot dogs. Um, oh boy! Really, I know. Um, so, th- which maybe will detour into a career change for me. Um, <laughs> last time I got really distracted by hot dogs. Um, and so I decided to order some for tonight. This is a Chicago dog. Um, I can't believe it. I was so shocked when you showed me that because I, I remember you distinctly saying how a Chicago dog was not for you because of the tomatoes. Yep. I know. But I was like, I have to try it because so many people were like, Chicago dog is where it's at. And we have such a Chicago fan base that I was like, I have to at least take a oh, bite of a Chicago dog. All the shy towners. It was like $4. Yeah. Um, so it's it's hot dog. I got a beef beef frank, um, onions. It has a pickle, <laughs> tomato. It has some of these. You things. got a beef frank over there. I got a beef. I got myself a beef frank. And that's um, what is that like? A uh, taste it. I don't know. Is it a pepper? What does it smell like? It smells spicy. Does anyone in the chat know what this is? <laughs> I, is it a jalapeno? <laughs> that's what green. It's spicy. I don't want it. It's spicy. I don't know. I take, You're I'm not a spice all. hound. No, it not- hurts me. Okay. Oh, okay. We've hit a stumbling block, guys. What happened? What? The relish, someone else has noticed this, is neon green. That's a Chicago spicy. dog. That's a Jello. Chicago Good. dog. Why? Do you want me to get Craig in here to explain a Chicago I dog do. for you? Can Craig, all right, hold on. Craig, we got to get Craig in here. I need some help. Wait, my mic is a bit hot. I just turned it down. Okay. Why? Now I've is... got the mic problems. Seriously. The tables Why? have turned. I have never seen relish this color before. That is. Wait, hold it up to the camera. Okay. That is interesting. Brightness. It's what's in like, what's in relish is it's pickles it's just pickles i think pickled onions I think it's just chopped up pickles. pickles no it's just pickles i think i think pickles can get that green <laughs> it's neon it's fully here neon. comes craig he's gonna explain to you what a dog's all about <laughs> okay great <laughs> for our new video I'm series hot dog chat okay hi, craig. so hi so, yeah craig i got myself a chicago dog well, you yeah. kind of did. Well, I ordered a Chicago dog, but I'm just confused yeah. about this relish. Well, that's like a Chicago thing where it's called neon green relish. It's perfectly fine. It's just the coloring of it. Oh, that's really what it's called. I, I just said it's like neon green. That's Yeah, um, but, but also on your Chicago dog, your bun should have uh, poppy, poppy seeds. seeds on it. Oh. And another thing that not a lot of people really know is... Yeah you sprinkle celery salt on top of the dog. Okay, there is celery oh. salt. I, there is I celery salt. That yet. Wow. There is celery salt here. Can you hold it up those... a little higher, please? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you Oh, it's like a pretzel it. bun. Yeah, there, but there's, yeah, okay. there's no, um, there's no uh, poppy seeds poppy on the seeds. bun, but there is celery salt. Wow, so yeah, where'd you get that from? <laughs> I'll tell you. Um, this place in Pasadena... Uh, it was recommended to me on someone uh, from someone on Twitter, and it is called um, oh god, oh god, oh god, um, Mees M E E A S, and it's a hot dog place. They have all sorts of different kinds of hot dogs. You can build your own dog. They have the Chicago hot dog, Southland hot dog. Uh, this sounds horrible. Turkey pesto hot dog, but they have all sorts of different. Kinds yeah. Of yeah. Dogs. So it's, it's kind of like a new, like trendy. It's not like one of those really like, you know, authentic places. Right. Oh, you know, what's interesting. It says I'm supposed to have had a poppy seed bun. Oh, interesting. Oh. Maybe they were out of them. They must have been out and just assumed that I wouldn't know. 
Well, well, you didn't right. until I showed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck that. Um, yeah. Do you have any idea about why the relish is like that in Chicago? Yeah, you know, I, I can't give you any real honest guess. I mean, maybe is it because there's a dye? huge. Well, I was, well, was going to say there's a lot of it's, it's a big Irish community in Chicago. Oh. You know, you know, they dye the Chicago River green on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they yes. do that in Boston, too. So maybe they just had some leftover dye and they threw it on the relish or something. <laughs> it's River actually, dye. it's created by adding blue dye to regular blue pickle dye. relish. That's wow. what it says on uh, the old, I gave it a goog. Is there any reason for it? Specific reason for it? Oh my God. If you Google a jar of Chicago style relish, it is <laughs> so gross looking. Um, that's, that's all I buy when I can. Really? Yeah, it tastes exactly the same. There's no difference in taste. Also, I use very, I use very, very little relish on mine. I don't like a lot. And then you put like one thin strip of mustard. Obviously, we're not going to get into the whole ketchup debate here. Because <laughs> no, that's I'm a little ketchup. typical. We What's got that? into this last time. I'm pro ketchup. I'm like a, cre- a ketchup mustard sauerkraut lady. Well, oh yeah, sauerkraut I'm all about. But you, you don't, ketchup is, ketchup on top of relish is even more horrible. Because that's like two layers of sugar. I that's, that's no true. good. Yeah, that's yeah. not that's no good. No, okay. no, that's mustard like what a kid eats. And relish mustard. is okay though. Mustard and relish and sauerkraut really is great. Mm-hmm. They won't. What's going tell on, Ellie? On the because I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I just blew snot out my nose. I'm trying to figure out why they make it so green, and like no one will tell me. They're just like you know, they add a, food coloring. They won't tell me the origin story. Aesthetically, it's it's wonderful. I mean, yeah, I guess so. You know, you got the you got the bright red of the tomatoes, and then you got this neat. Doesn't like tomatoes. You don't like tomatoes. No, I hate Chicago dogs. I'm, but I got one just to to try it again to see if maybe my taste buds have changed. What do you hate about Christmas hot dog? I don't like tomatoes. Yeah, like a Christmas hot dog. You don't like tomatoes, but you like ketchup. Yeah, it's a different text texture. No, I mean it's not. Yeah, you're right. I mean it's not even related at all, really. Yeah. Here's an interesting thing for you. I learned this a few years ago. In France, the sugar content of American ketchup is so high, they consider it a dessert. It's like a That's dessert crazy. topping. What? Don't, That's crazy. Hey, don't like Heinz ketchup and don't don't blame me, wow. man. This is just this is just something I read. There's so much sugar in in it. It's it's like considered like a condiment dessert topping. Oh my god, guys, don't shoot the messenger. Craig's just letting us know. That's well, well, wild. hey, look, look it up. I I don't know where I read it. It's you know probably ten years ago or something. I, I read that it's something, and I was like, oh, that's really interesting. And, you know, of course, it makes sense because it's it's one of the reasons. And the thing is, I have a huge sweet tooth, but just not on a hot dog, except yeah, for the little you- smidge of relish. Um, but okay, so there are these new Korean dogs though that are like corn dogs, but they're they're dipped first in some sort of sweet. Um, uh, you have yeah, yet I, to I try don't that. Yeah, you don't want a sweet dog. A Korean sweet fried <laughs> dipped hot dog. I, 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 I'm out. I'm out. All right, All right. bye, Craig. Thank you. Bye, ladies. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> um, All wow. right. Well, with, with that being said, should I try my first bite of the dog? Yes, I'm dying I am to know what so you think. I am so weirded out by this. By this, I, I mean, so was he helpful in showing you why maybe it was green? He's so green. No, we don't know why it's. I mean, literally, we know why <laughs> it's food coloring, but we don't know why they do that. It's, it's weird. It's just a fun. It's a fun thing they do, I guess. I All right, fun. let's see. Let's All see right, what so happens. The paper here. is sticking to the dog. Is one thing. Strike I mean, I've one. Eaten, I've eaten that paper before doesn't stop me so we got beef frank <laughs> remember remember what that ad campaign for the cheese paper what was that for it was no. for like carl's jr or like jack in the box where it was like it was about how the cheese would stick to the paper and it was like the ad campaign for the fast food place was like cheese paper ali what do you think okay that's a good dog did you get a, a bite of tomato <laughs> in there a little bit spicy <laughs> do i choke a little bit but- is that the jalapeno pepper I took it off. That's a good dog. It is. It is a sweeter relish. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good dog. That's a good, dog. that's a good boy that's right a there. Good, that's a good dog right there. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you like, you don't mind the tomatoes? You're into the tomatoes? 
No, and you know what? It's a pretzel bun, which is really, I really like good. that. I love a pretzel bun. Like for sandwiches, ooh, I love a pretzel bun. Okay, guys. I take back everything I said about Chicago dogs. It's good. Right. Chicago. Wow. <laughs> Kudos to the chef. You can't have any. Sorry, Bubba. Um, we should get you wow. calling the, the restaurant saying, can I please talk to the chef? <laughs> This beef frank oh dog. I need to talk about your <laughs> Chicago dog. <laughs> All right. I don't want to scare you guys, but there's only one person in the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's let the one person in. Okay, Chloe, you're coming in. Coming in hot. <laughs> Chloe? Oh, boy. Chloe? told you i think everyone's everyone's like out celebrating because it's friday night tgif well chloe um (laughs) (laughs) she she probably accidentally (laughs) oh here she goes oh hey chloe chloe hi hi oh wait we We, can't hear you we can't hear you we can see you though. A lovely backlight. Oh no. Oh no. We can't hear you. Um, let's hmm. see here. What could hmm. be wrong? <laughs> well. <laughs> Chloe, can you hear me? Maybe it's the the audio input. Johnny Chloe, right we're gonna up. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang up with you. We're gonna let Lizzie in because she's in the waiting room. And then yeah, Chloe gets it. Chloe, I don't have to tell Chloe. She's got what's it. Up. She gets she's it. Got she gets it. it. She got, oh, she she's couldn't got hear it. us. Interesting. She couldn't hear got us. It. Oh. Interesting. Let's, we're gonna let Lizzie in. Uh Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. Lizzie. <laughs> Connecting to audio. We can't Hello. hear you. No, we can hear you now. No, someone, Hello. someone, Rachel just said we can't hear you. Niece, can you hear me? Yes, it, we, Lizzie, can we can hear you. I, can I think they're saying people. they couldn't hear Clo- Chloe. Yeah, they're oh. saying they couldn't can hear Chloe. Can you hear us, Lizzie? I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, great, 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 great. Okay, cool. Okay, Hello. How are you doing? Hi, lovely <laughs> ladies. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> I love your shirt. Yeah. Oh, don't tell him, don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> when he's away, he's at his father's. I like ransack his closet. So I was feeling ethereal. What is it? Are they centaurs? His little, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it from Urban Outfitters. Well, I got it for him at Urban Outfitters like years ago. So, oh my yeah, God, that's like, amazing. Yeah, I was channeling I don't like you, Allie. Sorry, lady. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I love it. I do. For this wall, girl. <laughs> I it's honestly like- feel like my dream man is probably a centaur. He's <laughs> <laughs> like Danny DeVito in Hercules. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh your dream man. That <laughs> is my dream it's man. It's okay, um, yeah. So, where are you? This- where are no, you, you calling don't. from? I'm in the Bronx. I'm Bronx, New York, girl. Nice. Cool. That's where uh, J Lo is from. Well, honey, well she was she was she took the six train and that's local. I'm on the D <laughs> Express. Okay. You're deep deep Bronx. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Do you no, have a, I, a story question comment I have or concern? Several, and I've been like, <laughs> I've been trying to like just contact you. I'm like, should I do it? Should I like? I've been holding this for like decades and I told my sister mm. these stories and she doesn't believe me. And I'm like, you know what? I know who's going to like, just going to be there for me. And it's you ladies. So I have a bittersweet one. I'm to the point. So I have a bittersweet mm. one. I have a scary one. And I have, um, an, um, I was dead for five minutes and I saw Aaliyah. So which one do you want? Oh my God. Dead for uh, five minutes and saw Aaliyah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so, yes. This is, um, 2001. Before 9-11, this is um, in August, a month before 9-11, I was working at a photo studio, Pier 59 in New York City, and I was running the front desk, going about my business, dealing with all the Victoria's Secret models. We just booked the space. I'm like, hi, Adriana, all that. 
Mm. And I'm like, oh, I have to use the bathroom. I have my period. Sorry, I'm TMI. I'm turning 40. <laughs> Single mom. My son got to NYU last week. Full Yay! scholarship. Yay! Yay! Hence the shirt. <laughs> Okay, so I'm running, I'm running to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, oh, like I, I was like, I was bleeding, I was bleeding. Okay, five minutes later, I'm in studio three. My blue jeans are red. Okay. I'm bleeding out. I mean, look, it just for, like I'm, I'm I'm all good, but it was a, a normal uterine bleeding. That's what happened to me. But okay, but um, so the crew from the equipment room just came in, started grabbing the we had like towels for for the models and all that. Just started just piling it up on me. And I just remember I blacked out and I felt this heat. It was like nine, it felt like 90 degrees. Like I've never been to Cali, but I mean, I just like, yeah, just like it was 90 degrees. And I, it was this white, like just like the color of your shirt, Ali. It was just this white light. And then I saw, you know, for me, madre, <laughs> I saw Aaliyah. She was just coming at me and she was singing, love you, babe, love you, babe. Your love is born in a million. And I was just dancing with her. And then I wake up and I'm in St. Vincent's Hospital, rest in peace, the St. Vincent's Hospital on, on 16th Street, I think in Broadway, or Gansevoort or something like that. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I, I woke up and I'm just there and my parents are there. They were like, like yeah, like you died for like five minutes. And, and, and I was like, I saw Leah. I said, this is what she said to me. And then, like, right before I was uh, was um, uh, setting up this, I Googled, like, wait a minute. Let me just Google when she died. Yeah, she died August 2001. Like, so it That's was, like, right. Two weeks. Like, at, like, yeah. Like, two weeks before that happened to me. So it was just, like, she, oh was, my she God. was still traveling. Or, like, it was insane. But I I had a near-death experience when I was... Um, I think when I got the chickenpox vaccine when I was little and my mother and my, my mother called my aunts from Puerto Rico and they had to do the Santeria on me. And yeah, it was Shit. like, it was, so I'm like, I'm very sensitive. I, you know, like, yeah. I, like oh, okay. Okay. Quickly. I mean, if you need to like, you know, just cut me off, let me know. We have nothing. No, no. Okay, so that was that. <laughs> so yeah, like Aaliyah. Yeah. So Aaliyah's fine. She was, she, she's looking good. And <laughs> <laughs> it's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a DJ at that time too. So I was DJing a lot of her, like I was uh, mixing instrumental jazz with hip hop. So I played a lot of her. So I guess she was just like, hey girl, like, you know. Yeah. Like, like, you know, <laughs> hit me up with that. Okay, so quickly with my uncle. All right, this is really sweet. I was um, 15, I'm, I'm two weeks to 42. So, all right, just letting you know. Um, 15 years old, I was um, in bed, on my beautiful canopy bed. And um, I, I there was this thing with me and my uncle. He, I, my name is Elizabeth, but they call me BC. And he was calling mm-hmm. Elizabeth toilet because I had a weak bladder when I was little. <laughs> so I was going to the bathroom <laughs> when I slept over my aunt and uncle's house. Mm-hmm. So he was like, oh, "Elizabeth toilet, Elizabeth toilet." <laughs> and uh, and so, but this one night, um, I used I went to the bathroom and I went to sleep. And he was he was a smoker. He died of lung cancer. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. And um, so I'm just laying in bed and all of a sudden I feel like someone's just like hugging me from the back. And mm-hmm. I thought it was my sister. We were four years apart. So I just thought it was her just like creeping crawling because she was just a scaredy cat. And then I look and like there's no one there. And I still feel someone just like hugging me. And then I smell like cigarettes. I smell oh, like it was just like, shit. and I look at the window and I'm like, okay, the windows are closed. Like, what the fuck? We didn't have an air conditioner, so it wasn't going through the vents. And then I'm not, like, Ali, Melissa. Oh, my God. Oh, Maria, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, no, like, I'm just like, it's like ringing me back. Go. The phone rings. Oh and my I God. hear my mother bawling. And my dear Tony, he passed away. He was like, it, it was like. And I told her, I was like, I said, my, my, my. I said, there was a cigarette smoke. The only was here with me. And, you know, to, to this day, they don't, to this day, they don't believe me. But it was just, he was just coming to me like, hey, Elizabeth Toilet. Like, I, like, I literally, girls, I went to use the bathroom. I can't, I went back into bed. I felt that hug that he always gave me, the smell of cigarettes, the phone rings, boom. And it was like, yeah, I saw you use that toilet, girl. I'm like, <laughs> Are you a bruja? Wow. Uh, no, 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 no. I wish I just have I have my incense 
Cynthia. <laughs> my guinea pig died a week ago. They sent me her little paw print. Oh and my so, god! And she, her, Hazel May, no, because I called out the Leslie No Parks and Rec. She died um, the first of the first of May. So May first. Of 21. My birthday is 521. I'm like, do I have to play numbers at this point? Like, I don't know. Aww. It was, well, yeah. Hazel's yeah. partying with Aaliyah in heaven now. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and you're well, but anyway, there was, there was, um, oh, yeah, you have a scary oh, story too. I mean, if you, I can like call next time or whatever, but it, it's just, no, we like okay. it. it was in the same house, um, uh, of my uncle before he passed away. So I'm going backwards. So I was, I never forget this. The Puerto Rican Day Parade. We just went to celebrate it. We were checking out the people in Manhattan. We came back to the Bronx when uh, my, my aunt and my mother, they were just making some lunch there. And I was 10 at the time. And I'm just sitting in the living room area. And then um, to my right, you can see two bedrooms. Uh, it was my cousins and they were just wide open. And I'm just like, just chilling in the living room. And then when I look to the bedroom, I see I had um, these white skippies, cute white skippies. And I always leave them like in my cousin's room because I was sleeping over that night. So um, so then I, I see them moving around and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, it, like, like, like this is the shoe, right? So it, they're just like shuffling like this, right? So I'm just thinking, I mean, like, again, this is the Bronx. I'm thinking is, there's like a little mouse in there. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> But then, ladies, ladies, okay, the shoe, the lace was no, no, tying. No. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, okay, it was tying, and it was like halfway under the bed and halfway like, and it was just tying in a knot, okay? So I'm just like, with my freaking border, my cheesy border, I'm like, I mean, damn, damn. I said nothing. My, I mean, I, I wish. We ate whatever. That's it. Okay. Okay. Cut two. I, I had to sleep over. Ugh. All right. So then check this out. So we're watching. I forget. It was some. Um, it was some Spanish. It, I, I can't even remember. Anyway, so we're watching a movie in the living room, and then it's like, oh, you know, getting ready for bed. I'm like, oh lord. Like I'm just like I'm not ready for it. So I went to get my book bag in that room. So I just get it. Boom. I had the cojones and I just did that. Okay. So, but I'm just dealing with it in the living room. So I'm back in the living room and then just, just something's telling me like, you know, just go, go and look. All right. All right. Coast is clear. Good. All right. So remember I said there were two, there were two bedrooms. So the one to the right where the shoes were and it was moving around. Okay. That's to the right. So I, to go to the bathroom, you have to pass the other bedroom. So I'm on my way over there. My aunt's like, you want some Kool-Aid? Yeah. Kool-Aid like at 10 o'clock. It was a Saturday night. So I'm <laughs> when I'm passing by, when I'm passing by, Okay. In the bedroom, it was my aunt's room and there was a rocking chair and a, okay, rocking chair and then a closet to the right. So right when I'm coming in here, rocking chair is facing me. And then there's a closet to the right. You don't see it because the door is just like, it was just open halfway. Okay. Right when I'm walking, I felt myself just like, it's like, like it was like slow motion, slow motion. And like, my head was like, it was just like, keep looking, keep looking straight. Like something was showing me just to look straight. Okay. I see from the rocking chair, okay, this shadow, this shadow just appears. Like it was like profile, it was a shadow, okay? And the chair, the rocking chair, it was a rocking chair. It moved a little bit to like just back, just back, just back. And then it just it just stopped right in the middle. And then the shadow ran into the closet. No. Ran into no. the closet. No, no, no. I screamed bloody murder. My aunt, Manuel Papao, you know what that means. She gave me a little spank in the booty. And I was like, I want to go to my parents' house. I want to. Go. I, I went to my parents' house. I never went back there again to sleep over. And then cut to like five years, like five years ago, um, my cousin told me that yeah, this lady, she, this old lady, that like, she passed away, uh, like in in her sleep in that room. So that that was that. Was oh, that. So, holy girl, shit! My parents, yeah, and I suffer from sleep paralysis too. But that's a whole other story. That's a whole other. God. Um, but, but, yeah. Oh my God, Lisi, you're killing it in the chat. These stories, what an amazing <laughs> oh, way to cap it off. Everyone they, in the chat loves you. They want more uh, stories. Uh, uh, what a superstar. They want to hear all your stories. Please call in <laughs> again. This was incredible. I'm in my parents' apartment because I've been helping them some from 
you know, the whole COVID. I just picked my uh, picked my dad up from a colonoscopy today. But I'm in actually, and not to be like more. I look. I'm a happy go lucky chick. I'm all you know. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm in a, my sister, my younger sister, she passed away six years ago in this room oh. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Her ashes oh, no. are right. Wait, hold on. Her ash. Well, yeah, her ashes, her urn. This is my. Oh. My baby girl. Yeah. Oh. And she had, she had a really bad, um, an autoimmune disease and it, it was, it was, it was like inevitable. Like she was just wilting away, but yeah. And I saved her life two years before I slept over and um, I did the whole CPR call. I was like the 911 doing this. My parents were just like crying, whatever. I'm like, you're not helping. You're not helping me. So she lived two years. And the, the guy said it, like when I went to the hospital, he was like, if it wasn't for you. So, you know, she lived an extra two. Cause, but to that day, I always tell her like, I'm sorry. I wasn't there, you know, the second time around, but yeah, yeah. No. But let me, let, let's let's you know let's change it up and let's just you know let's do some. No, nothing. but I she's so lucky to have you. And what like a yeah. gift you she's have. Still, and... She's still like I I feel her. I feel her. I talk to her more than I talk to my older sister. She's she, <laughs> look, the 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 next life that we have is promising, girl. There's a Leah and guinea pig. <laughs> 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 it's a party up there for sure oh. well you were such a light thank you so much for calling in yeah. you have to do it again you are like lady and you know what <laughs> melissa i've never seen brave little toaster i've seen, I've seen <laughs> thank you <laughs> but i don't thank I'm, you i'd rather see a shadow person or whatever <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's amazing have such a good oh. night we hope to hear from you again you soon thank, thank you lady. Bye. thank you <laughs> Wow. wow that was incredible and sending so much love to her and her family i, I love her i love her yeah, what's crazy great. stories oh my gosh you know it's interesting because like when we did the near-death experience episode they always say that they like the other side will show you like what makes you feel comfortable or like what you ma- makes you feel soothed and she said she was listening to a lot of Aaliyah at the time so oh, it's interesting yeah. that she saw Aaliyah. Um, I remember I was at Disneyland the day Aaliyah died because I heard about it and I like called my friend on my way back from Disneyland being like Aaliyah died. Like I remember it so vividly. Yeah, I 100% remember it too. That was such Um, a shock because no celebrity like that had died like that. Like oh, in it our, was a plane crash, wasn't it? Yeah, Yeah. it was so shocking. I remember it being so shocking. Wasn't she like 20 or something? Or like so, so young, so crazy. Um, All right. Um, Allie, would you like to take take another bite of a hot dog or would you like to let Chloe in? No, this is crazy. I was about to say I'd like to take another bite of a hot dog. So (laughs) um, here's the second dog I got. And this is like the classic New York dog, except it's um, ketchup, mustard, um, sauerkraut. And then I got grilled onions, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. I love a grilled Um, onion. I like a grilled onion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I should have gotten a raw onion, but, um, okay, let's see. Oh, interesting. Because a a grilled onion can be sweeter. A grilled onion is going to be sweeter than a raw onion. I'm wondering if like the ketchup on ketchup. Uh oh. You got hair in there? <laughs> hair in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a bite of this, Frank. This All right, let's York. see. New York or Chicago. B Frank looks like a regular bun. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a concern face or a. Oh, okay, it's well, so first good. Off, there's something wrong with the bun. Oh, no. I think I got a stale bun. <gasps> that's the worst. It's like really hard, really hard <laughs> bun. <laughs> oh, that's that's the opposite. It should be soft and like so, made it uh, made it hard to get through. Um, okay, hard to get through. <laughs> you know what? They forgot the sauerkraut. Oh, what? They're, they got that's they messed up the with the poppy here. seed bun. They got no sauerkraut. They forgot the sauerkraut, or there's like a little sauerkraut, but it's not. Other than that, how are all the ingredients together? Not good, because let me tell you why. Oh, wow. The sauerkraut has no acidity. It's not like 
Right. It doesn't taste like pickled or fermented. It's like almost tastes sweet, the sour. Can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? Is it mushy? Is it a mushy sauerkraut? It's mushy. It's mushy. It's mushy. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't like this dog. This, I mean, who knew that going into this, my favorite dog, (laughs) throw it in the trash. (laughs) I just should Chicago dog me all day. That was originally your favorite hot dog. You said sauerkraut ketchup mustard and this is just evidence that things you can you're allowed to change your mind in this world you're a chicago dog head things i'm a yeah i'm a chicago head that shows wow. growth that shows growth that you're not only yep. able to change but you're vulnerable enough to yes, acknowledge to try the change. acknowledge the change <laughs> not judge myself for changing um be open to change um and admit when i'm wrong there's a lot of things huh? that are really great about me. Well, um, all right. Well, on that note, let's let <laughs> Chloe, let's see if Chloe can hear us. If we can hear Chloe, let's see. Chloe. Chloe. I don't hold on. I need to address something in the chat real quick. I don't think grilled onions are sauerkraut, sweetie. I got grilled <laughs> onions and sauerkraut. They're both in there. All right. Thanks. Okay, sorry. Continue. <laughs> now, Chloe, oh, Chloe it you're looks muted. like you're muted. Oh, there oh, we go. Here you. you are. There Hi. you are. Oh my gosh, I'm like so starstruck and so embarrassed. <laughs> I can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that happens to all of us, including us. How are you? <laughs> I am great. I don't. I don't know how I'm going to follow up, Lizzie. Like, like those stories were so cool. Like. I know. Yes, but every story is unique and and amazing in its own way. Uh, where, where are you, you from? from? Uh, I am in Little Rock, Arkansas. Wow. Home, Home of, of Bill Clinton, Bill right? Clinton. Oh, yes. I yeah. actually oh. have a lot of, like two oh. preparation people that went to high school with Bill Clinton because he went to high school in Hot Springs where I'm from. Shut I up. bet he played the saxophone at dances. Key. They have stories. Yes. And they always talk about how they would see him like years later and he like remembered them. Like apparently Bill Clinton like never forgot a face. So they knew him in high school and they would see him one day. <laughs> so scary. Yeah, he's scary. like a he's like a crow. <laughs> yes. I never forget. Yes. A face. So they would see him like 20 years later after he was like governor, and he'd be like, Oh my god, Tom from <laughs> sophomore chemistry or whatever, but he would like know them and it like stuck with everyone. Super oh God, weird. That's so. I think uh, you know who's the same as that is. I think Tom Cruise. Also oh. creepy. Okay. Also creepy. I've heard that I don't Tom trust Cruise him. like will remember the name and face of like every single person on that's every set. That's a threat. He goes to. Honestly, that's threatening. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, I think it is threatening too. A hundred percent. Hey um, Sam in uh, production design <laughs> yeah. department. I know you. Got me my coffee once. Hello yeah. again. Um, <laughs> I just want to let you know that Rachel was kidding when she said that. So she, so we can just cool our jets here. <laughs> yes, sweetie. She was kidding. <laughs> Sorry. I had a rage blackout again. I haven't eaten enough of my Chicago dog. I'm a little hangry. Um, I feel like Apple Podger is going to be eating tons of hot dogs, like finishing all the hot dogs. This is my this is my secret plan since we always have these during dinner time. Um, <laughs> Chloe, do you have a story, question, comment, or concern? Oh, okay. Well, I'm anxious, so I always have concerns. But so I, I have two stories, but I'm gonna let you choose one. They're not Perfect. super. Neither one's supernatural. Like I have supernatural stuff, but I didn't like hear those. So totally fine. So okay. Um, so I listened to the episode with, with Gabby Dunn about the pranks. So yeah, mm-hmm. I have one about a really bad prank gone wrong with an ex-boyfriend, or Love I it. have like a creepy true life thing that happened with no supernatural vibes, but real creepy. I kind of want prank gone wrong. What I kind of want think? the prank. I you knew you were going to say that, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Maybe y'all won't think it's bad. I think it's really bad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so many years ago, I was living in Houston and I was like 23, I think. And I had this boyfriend who was like 30. And we, Ooh, <laughs> yeah, la like, la. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we had been together for like three years at this point. So, we've been together for quite a while. And it was my birthday. So, it was not April Fool's Day, it was on my birthday. And 
which Allie, I'm a cancer. So this might, that might win oh, some like story for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we, there, we were living in South Houston and there's this really fancy hotel on Galveston Island called the Galvez where they do like bougie, like brunches with like mimosas and shit on Sundays. Mm. And like you dress up, you go, you're on the ocean. It's fancy. There's ballet and stuff. So we decided to go there for my birthday. So we're all dressed up. We go, we're like surrounded by all these like fancy people and their fancy clothes. And it's like nice. Mm-hmm. And we get like our first plate of food and whatever. And oh, no. <laughs> it's like so cringy to even talk about. Oh, no. <laughs> My boyfriend stands up while we're talking and he gets down on one knee. No. And, and he says, Chloe Madeline Lanning, no. will you? And then he just starts laughing. He starts laughing so hard and like people from other tables, he's still on one knee. People from other tables are like looking at us really confused. My My parents are like, what? And then he like just sits down and he's like, oh my God, that's so funny. And he's like dying. Okay. Your parents were there? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. (gasps) My mother and my stepfather were there. Yeah. And this unfortunately is not the end of the prank. Or oh God, men are or not whatever. funny. This is like the perfect story for men. <laughs> men just don't have good senses of humor. Men That's are not funny. So. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, so it gets worse. So, oh, God. So then we go home. It's a very awkward brunch and we go home. And we're at my dining table because we have to do cake and presents, right? Because it's my birthday. Oh, Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we eat the cake. And then uh, my boyfriend, I'm trying not to use his name. Sorry. My boyfriend had previously mm-hmm. told me that he got me two gifts. And they were related. So I opened the first one and it's a t-shirt that says, um, it's like the little mermaid. And it says, um, but who cares? I want more from the song when she's like down in her treasure trove. So it says, I want more on it. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, thanks for the shirt. I'm still mad at you. So then I, I get into the second gift, which is like in a gift bag. And I reach in and it's like a small jewelry box. Come on. I pull it out and I open it. Is it a dingle hopper? Oh my God. I fucking wish it was a dingle hopper, Maria. That would be so (laughs) much better. (laughs) Breath comb your hair. (laughs) Yes, I can comb my hair. Um, (laughs) No, so it's a fucking ring. And as I'm opening the box, this man stands up from my dining room table and he gets down on one knee again in front of my parents still. It says, Chloe Madeline Lanning, will you? And then just starts laughing. And then he's like, okay, serious this time. Chloe Madeline Lanning, will you marry? <laughs> and just starts laughing. What? Was he proposing or was this he just joking? This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> no. No. He's like, oh my God, I'm dying. It's so funny. So I look at my mom, my, my stepdad, like if looks could kill, he's like shooting daggers. And yeah. me and my mom were like, we're going to go for a minute. So we went into my bedroom to talk. And later on, he was mad at me for like abandoning him with my with my stepdad while we talked about if the ring was ugly. Like, dude, it was ugly, but that's not what we were talking about. <laughs> is he a sociopath? <laughs> I don't know. Why would you do that? I don't know. Like, we've been together for years and he was what? 30 years old. Like, he's more than old enough to like, I know that this is stupid. I don't know. Oh. That's just so embarrassing. That's like so, and to double down, to do it yeah. twice. <laughs> double down on the bad joke. It's not yeah. even a joke. That's what's so confusing. <laughs> it's, like, it's like he wanted to propose, but he kept getting so anxious that he pretended it was a joke. Yes. I haven't thought about it in years, but when I thought about it today, I was like, oh my oh. God, I wonder if he just fucking chickened out. I think he chickened out. I think he had oh. every intent. I think he wanted to propose. And then each time he got so anxious that he pretended he was joking. That's sad. Well, this just went to like oh, a really is- sad Jeez. place. True. But Maria, if it makes you less sad, that means he was double dipping on my birthday. Like he didn't want to give me a birthday gift. He just proposed and said, that's all. <laughs> he got you that done. awesome little mermaid shirt. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, you did get a little mermaid real. shirt. That's true. I'm being spoiled. You're right. That's <laughs> like, to, to put, like, to oh. give him any benefit, like, he's either, like, a serial killer or he chickened <laughs> out. Um, either way, like, probably not the guy for you. 
is or he just no, has a terrible sense of humor. Is he humor. your ex boyfriend or boyfriend? Okay, so the really sad part is that he is You're my ex boyfriend. Okay, but we stayed together for two more years after that, and he broke up with me over the phone when I was moving across the country. So it's really All right. Well, you dodged a <laughs> bullet. <sighs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's insane. Especially for like a 30 year old man, like grow a a pair, whatever is going on. And I'm surprised your stepdad did not like wring his neck. My God. That's crazy. He should have. So sorry, this was random. But when you told your story about the ex with the puppies, I was like, oh my God, I I know that feeling. Yeah. Melissa knows the guy. We won't say his name. Melissa, you know who did it. I do. Yeah. Yeah. He's oh one God. of the people we know in common. He's super tall, super, super tall. <gasps> I'll put his name in the chat. <laughs> did I did I date his brother? <laughs> no. No. The tall. I put it in the text. Um, anyways, uh, Chloe, oh. thank you so much for <laughs> this story. You should have listened to you to see who it was. <laughs> yes, that's insane. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. Um, <laughs> well, the world anyways. knows so. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're out of that relationship. Bigger and better things. Um, no Little Mermaid shirts. Um, you know I gave that away so fast. The ring I gave away to you. I was like, I, yeah, they're cursed. Um, they are. Bad energy. Um, thank you so much for calling in. This was a delight. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Chloe. Thank you. Wow. Oh I love that your dogs that bark every time you say lot. bye. <laughs> I know. That's insane. That was like shocking, actually, to kind of put myself in her position of being at brunch and like witnessing that is really traumatic. Actually, like, no yeah, one honestly, laughing. Very traumatic. The first time, like obviously she wasn't laughing about it the first time, but to do it again and to think like this will really get her this time. Well, because and like, that I fake always- laugh. Like that fake laugh of like, got you, got you. It's like, dude, you're not getting any. What are you talking about? Like, unless he's honestly like pathological and mean spirited, like I on, he must have just chickened out and, and wanted to propose and then backed out. Yeah, that's possibility. But like, imagine like, I feel so horrible. And like what you said about the trauma is right. And hopefully she's like, work through that and is way yeah. more confident maybe than like I am but I'd be like I can't trust anyone now who like gets down on one knee and gonna oh, think you're yeah. pranking me um which I actually am afraid I'm gonna think anyway um and like but, not being able to listen to the Little Mermaid anymore right I mean if anything that's Sing the biggest box, I've got 20 um okay <laughs> I, I apologies to Rachel sometimes I get upset i also want to mention i have a root beer float if i haven't mentioned that already let's see a taste that's root beer floats are just perfect you know i had a coke float the other day it's ice cream ice cream but is it also ice like is there also ice or is it just uh the Um, plain flat like just the root beer and ice cream you could put ice in there, I guess. But yeah, I, feel I guess like no it's, one's stopping you. Yeah, yeah, it's just just repairing up vanilla ice cream. <laughs> the cops show up. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, there's a knock on my door, and I'm dragged out. <laughs> Look like Allie put ice in her room. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have some tater tots. Oh, there's a rogue fro- <gasps> rogue fly fry free, free fly <laughs> free fl- fry. Hello, hello, Matt. Hey, Matt, how are you? Hey, do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, how are Where you? Where are you? Huh? Where are you calling from? I am in Western Colorado. Nice, well, nice. Uh, okay, like a Denver a, area. Have you ever had a Chicago dog? No, west, west of Denver, other side of the state. Nice. Oh, and have, and have you had a Chicago dog before? I think so. <laughs> awesome. So, do you have a story? You know for what? Us? What? Yeah. What? I'm getting really confused because I had my YouTube up all the time. So. Oh, you got to, you got to, that's, that's delayed. Okay. There we go. (laughs) Now I know what's going on. Yeah. 
So I'm the one who made your glasses for you. <gasps> Matt, thank you so much. I've got my my Bigfoot glass. They are oh, so, my God. so nice. nice. They are so amazing. And I just, uh, Asher and Dolly are right here. I'm, I'm feeding them tater tots. <laughs> your, their little paw prints on That's my so thing cute. means so much. Thank you. so. That was so kind of you. Yeah, it was fun to make them. Um, I know everyone in the Discord was super, super into it uh, as well. We loved how they were so personalized. How? Where did you get them done? How did you do it? Oh, that's what I do for a living. I make custom glasses. Oh, wow. and I do la- laser. It's laser engraved. So, wow. Yeah. Where can but people buy your stuff if they want to? Um. Well, we have an Etsy store, and it's all on Amazon and on Etsy. Um, nice. I've shared the links in the Discord before, but it's orange cat, cat with a K, gift is the nice. name of the store. So, well, yeah, all it's the fun. 69 people who are watching right now, 69, go to nice. orange cat <laughs> gifts and get themselves a personalized uh, glass because they are super cool and it makes drinking uh, fun. I <laughs> yes. read, I read um, like whatever it is you're drinking. I read this morning and it's pseudoscience and one scientific, um, uh, what is it like uh, study? They did. They did the study three times. Two time. The two times it didn't come out the same. One time it came out this way. <laughs> but if you put like different like words on um, a glass and you put water in the glass, the molecules of the water will like change in a different way. Or if you like play play music for water like the molecules will look different the molecules of the water will look different what hmm. it's called uh, <laughs> so if i play like uptown funk for a glass of water like, <laughs> yes. gonna, hell yeah then it'll, then it'll turn into like trombones the fuck out. are you kidding yes. <laughs> Hold on. I mean, here's the thing is it's it it's called Hell Dr. Yeah. Masuru Amoto's water experiment. However, it has been debunked. Oh, but no. Oh, Dr. Well, <laughs> well, let's rebunk it. Rebunk exactly. it. I think I mean let's oh. let's rebunk it. Um they did a double God. blind test and it didn't come out the same. But the guy did it once and there was some you can look up look it up on YouTube or different articles about it. Uh again, cool. Dr. Masaru Emoto's water experiment. <clears throat> Anyways, uh Matt, do you have a story, comment, concern? I have a ghost story. Yes, yes. bring it on. Yes. All right. So I grew up in northern Colorado, Fort Collins which is uh, just about 50 miles north of Denver. Nice. Um, I was house-sitting for some friends of my family, and they they owned a, a farmhouse that was built in the late 1800s, about 1890. Um, so they used to go to Arizona for the, sum- for the winter, and... So I stayed in the house for them for one winter. And they told me when they were showing me around that they've heard noises before and they thought it might be haunted, but they'd never seen anything. I was like, okay, cool, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, so I I was there for a few months and occasionally I like felt like somebody else was in the room with me but I didn't see anybody. Um, and one night I got up to go to the bathroom. Nice. Number one or number two? <laughs> number one. Okay. I do number twos in the morning. Sick. Nice. Um, <laughs> so I was walking down the hall to the bathroom and I crossed at an intersection of another hall and I looked down the other hall and I saw a woman walk oh. by the other way on the at the end of the hall. 
No. And I just turned and kept walking and went to the bathroom because I was half asleep. And mm. when I was going to the bathroom, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I just <laughs> saw somebody. Uh, so I finished and I went out to the kitchen where she was walking towards and there was nobody there. So that was that was bizarre. And then another night I I woke up to the sound of talking, hmm. which didn't surprise me because I used to I always used to have like my alarm would wake up to NPR. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. So I'm slowly waking Me up, too. and I actually I open up my eyes, and there's a man, a woman, and two children standing Stop. next to the bed. Uh uh-uh. uh. Stop. And they're and they're talking to me. Uh-uh. I couldn't Go understand ahead. what they were saying. <laughs> it was terrifying. I couldn't close my eyes. So this is. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's horrible. It's like it was. Probably sleep paralysis, right? I mean, oh, I, I was I frozen. Know. I could not move. And like the little girl was waving at me. Oh. And the, oh my God. I don't remember now. Like the woman, I think, was talking, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. And then I eventually closed my eyes. And when I reopened them, they were gone. Oh, so that was fun. That's so <laughs> scary. Yeah, that's well, not cool. I didn't own the house, so I didn't. I couldn't like ask them to leave or anything like that. It wasn't my house. <laughs> um, that's not the ghost rules. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. So I, I called an ex girlfriend who was a witch, and I lost my virginity to a witch. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, so I gave her a call and, and asked her. <laughs> I gave her a call and asked her if there's anything I could do, and she recommended, you know, next full moon, just at night, sit in the room where you saw them, and just ask them to leave you alone. So I did oh. that. I just sat there and I said, "Hey." You know, it's not my house. I can't tell you what to do, but this is where I sleep. Please leave me alone in this room. And thank you. And I never saw him again. So that was pretty crazy. You didn't see the three of them and the woman who was talking and you couldn't understand her just roll her (laughs) eyes and go, oh, God. I could just imagine that that mother of the child just rolling her eyes. Oh, my God. I also want to apologize, Matt, because I said you said, oh, I'm from the West Coast. You said I'm from the West Coast of Colorado. And I said Denver. And I know Denver's on the East Coast. But I said, oh, like Denver, like a real heel. That's okay. Maria's definitely been thinking about that for like 20 I've been thinking about it for the last like 25 (laughs) minutes. Before you even got on the call, I was probably thinking about it. Yeah, I'm much closer (laughs) to Utah than Denver. Like I could go to, I'd be in Moab in four hours. Oh, All right, so you're by Durango. North of Durango. Nice. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Also, I had a, one night when I was reading in bed in that bedroom, a bat flew into the bedroom <gasps> and started circling the bedroom. That was, uh, scary. That was a vampire. Is there anything worse than a bat? <laughs> Is there anything worse than a bat? They, they, I called the owners. I, I waited for him to fly out the door and then I jumped up and shut the door, of course. <gasps> and when I talked to the owners about it, they said, Oh yeah, that happens. You know, it's old. They get in <laughs> they, into the attic and actually, the U.S. Geological Survey in Fort Collins is they study bats, and they had come out just a few days before and sealed the attic, and they hung up a bunch of bat houses. I didn't know about Aww. this. I was probably at work or something. What's a bat house? It's a wooden. It's box like a birdhouse for bats. They hang up super high, and the the bats will sleep in there. So they were Whoa, trying to no they were trying to get them out of the from staying in the house. 
but apparently they got there too late and there were already bats in the attic. So I ended up having to catch, I caught three bats and got them out. I love bats, while they were, I'm not lying. You do? I bats scare so the hell out of me. Cute. They were creepy. You do? They're cool. They're creepy as hell. That's OAR song. Bats in the belfry. I'm in Would the you like a bat <laughs> flying around in your room, Allie? <laughs> I mean, not yeah. flying at my head, but I don't know. I'm afraid of yeah, dragonflies. So we have to wait till about. <laughs> oh my God. I had to wait till around sundown and look around the house and look for bats crawling around, waking up, oh. and then throw a towel on top of them and scoop them up, throw the towel outside. And then they would just wriggle their way out of the towel. Ooh, it's so scary. I hate it. Y'all are being crazy. (laughs) I'm going to show you guys how cute bats are. Um, Matt, thank you so much. This has been so illuminating. And also, thank you so much for the glasses. Anyone who's listening, please make sure to go buy a glass because they are so amazing. Uh, And they make drinking like anything from beer to soda pop super fun. Soda pop. <laughs> Soda yeah. pop. Or root and beer float. Your favorite root beer float. Anything you order from us on Etsy, you can customize for free. Ooh, we don't really great. have, on Amazon, we don't really have a customization option, but but the Etsy has that option. So if you want a Bigfoot glass with your name on it or whatever, I'll do whatever you want. Hell yeah. Careful what you say. <laughs> thank you so much matt thank, thank you great. i love you all thank you <laughs> bye bye well um, i'm googling got... cute bats and i don't cute bats. they don't bats? put them on google maria images. what the hell is that maria what, what? you don't you can't you don't like when i wear makeup Oh. <laughs> no, you look beautiful, I guess. Who is that even? Is that is that uh Shania Twain? I don't know. Yeah, who is that? I don't know. That's weird. Why is it on your Zoom? <laughs> is that on oh, is that just no. on Zoom? Oh, great. let's make let's make what brother is great again. <laughs> no, it was never great to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a zombie. That's more fitting. That's good. That w- Wait, go back to the zombie. Does that kind of look like my brother? <laughs> <laughs> um. So we've been doing this for an hour. Do is there anyone else in the chat? Yes, like, there is. Happening? Let's let Rosie in. Oh yeah, we gotta let Rosie in. Rosie? Tenny said, "Search fruit bat baby." Okay, okay. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Hey, y'all. Hello, Rosie. How are you? I'm all right. Um, first things first. I have been binging the big ones. <gasps> oh, you have. Yeah. I am obsessed with it and I've gotten my friends to start listening to it too. I, it's literally, I love it so much. I don't understand why it doesn't have like a million fans. It's so good. It has no oh fans my actually. God. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's, it's one of my favorite podcasts too. It's so good. Thanks. I love Thanks it so, so much. much. I became a patron the other day. Um, oh, thank said, you so oh, much. That's so that sweet. That you don't have enough fans. So I'm just reiterating. <laughs> oh my God. I, you're the one who sent that Patreon message. Yeah, when I got me. that message, I sent that to Amanda because we read it on the podcast. But as soon as I got it, I sent it to Amanda. We were both laughing so hard. <laughs> Amanda was like, her and me both, baby. <laughs> that was so sweet. Yeah, thank I'm a you huge so fan. Much. And I've been like thinking about these moral dilemmas, I'm like, well, first of all, every time I listen to a podcast, I'm like, I wish I was a guest on this because I have shit to say. <laughs> so that's why I love these call-in shows because I get to be in the podcast. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do, you have any, yeah. do you have anything to say from like a certain big ones episode that you want to set the record? <laughs> I had, I had some on comments something? about the foster care system when you were talking about that in the episode about the um, guy who kidnapped the baby. Um, um, you're talking about Gone Baby yes. Gone. 
Oh um, yeah. I had some comments, okay, but I yeah. can't remember what they were. I've listened to so many episodes. Got I it. just am obsessed. I do have a story for you guys <laughs> that is a little bit of a big one too. I left Amazing. a voicemail Great. about it, but you uh, haven't. Can I it interject yet. real quick? I'm going to get up for half a second to turn off my air conditioning because I'm freezing, but I'm still listening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so you guys haven't aired this voicemail yet, so I felt like it was fine to say on the live. So, sure. Um, I was staying at an Airbnb a couple weeks ago, and um, in the mi- and everything seemed normal, you know. Um, this is not a paranormal story. I, I, I never have had any paranormal experiences. This is just a creepy story. Um, everything seemed normal. It was like a do like a duplex. So like the top, the bottom floor was like a family's home and the top floor, they like rented out and did Airbnb and stuff like that. So I was staying in the top floor in one of the rooms and there were people in the other rooms too. And we didn't really interact. I was only there for a couple of days in the middle of the night on the second day of my visit. I wake up, it was at four in the morning to somebody, to a woman screaming, (gasps) just like screaming bloody murder, like something horrible had happened. She was like screaming and crying, like, like hysterically upset. She was screaming, my baby, my baby, something (gasps) happened to my baby. I couldn't really make out what she was talking about this. And from what I could tell, this family had two children like young kids. Cause they had like a trampoline in the back, the backyard. Like it was like little kids. So I wake up and I was like, what the fuck is going on? My first, and it was the middle of the night. So I was a little, you know, half asleep, yeah. but mm-hmm. I was like, did somebody just die? Like, did a baby just die? Oh so this, this woman is screaming and crying and like they run. So she and her husband run out into the backyard. She's hysterical. He's telling her to be quiet. <gasps> And I was like, what do you mean if be yeah. quiet? What are yeah. you talking about? Like if something terrible just happened, she doesn't need to be quiet. So I'm laying there in my bed, like what the hell is going on? I thought maybe I was like dreaming, like having a little bit of like sleep paralysis or something. Um, no, because the other people like got up and went to the bathroom. Like everybody could tell that there was something going on. Eventually, so eventually somebody drives away in the car and then comes back. 15 minutes later, like not fast enough for somebody to have gone to the hospital. She was screaming, call 911, call the police, (gasps) call an ambulance. Like she was like, like, I've never heard somebody this upset in my life, especially at four o'clock in the morning. Like only bad stuff happens. So no police ever come. I never hear any sirens or anything. And then eventually it just gets quiet and everything stops and I go back to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, everything seems the same. Like it doesn't seem like somebody came in the middle of the night. There's no extra cars. It's not like anything. And then I never heard anything. Right. (gasps) And I was like horrified. I talked to one of my professors about it because I was telling, like I was talking to people just saying like, isn't this weird that this happened? Yeah. And my professor said, I wonder if she was having like a mental health episode. Like maybe she's like schizophrenic oh. or something. And she had like, you know, she didn't know. Cause that's the only reason I could understand why I could think somebody, why he would say be quiet. Do you watch right. Servant on Apple Plus? No, I don't have Apple Plus. Um, oh, what's that? I use M. Night Shyamalan, right? M. Night Shyamalan oh. show. But it's about this woman. This won't give anything away, but it's about this woman who loses her baby. And she refuses to accept the reality of that. And so she gets one of those newborn dolls and just pretends that that's her baby. And everyone around her just has to like also pretend that that's the baby. So Allie, are you saying that her neighbor was watching Servant at 4 (laughs) a.m.? No, but it could have been like a servant type scenario where maybe like right. the, yeah. the, she, they had lost a baby in the past. And then right. she's like finally like having some weird episode where she's like remembering about how she lost the baby. Well, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. I thought, you know, yeah. because I couldn't figure out why no ambulance came or they didn't go anywhere. Right. But it that's was very right. scary. And my th- this is where the big one comes in. Okay. I never said anything to, to them about it. But it was clear that somebody would have heard something and it's too late now. But I was kind of like, should I have said something like, 
Hey, hope everything's okay. Cause, it, but it really comes from me just being nosy. You know, right. it's not actually the kindness of yeah. my heart that I want to be like, I mean, I do care, but I'm also like, I want to know. Well, it's all in the husband or whoever it was going, be quiet, be quiet. Exactly. That changes everything, right? Because yeah. if he hadn't said that, then a 911 call would have well, been made unless, immediately. But well, the way... No, you go, oh, go ahead, no, Allie. No, go ahead, Allie. <laughs> well, the way you heard it was you heard someone being hysterical, and I'm using quotation marks because that's how what you think <laughs> of when a woman's <laughs> screaming about <laughs> her baby but you heard someone saying that and then you heard a man basically calming her down going you know stop being he hysterical and so like he seemed you were, oh he seemed angry yeah not like so you're programmed to think if a man is telling a woman to kind of calm down then she must be out of her goddamn yeah. mind you know what i mean so right. that makes sense to me that that would have made you go i'm not even gonna bring it up tomorrow yeah or the next day or whatever, or I'm not going to. So but that makes sense to me. he killed the baby by accident. That and then was my thought too. I was, exactly. Dominated. That's the thing. <laughs> that's what right. that's the I really he buried it, it in the like backyard and that's why he didn't call the cops or anything. Or yeah. he drove away for a few minutes because he took it, then went and dumped it in the river. Drove back. We were near a river. <laughs> yeah. we were, it, this was in Mount Vernon, New York. <laughs> we're near a river? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm really sorry, but that's my instinct. I think that's what <laughs> I wonder if I would have like called story, the police. That's the image that was going through my head. Well, it was kind of a like maybe a little bit of a bystander effect situation where I was right. like, everybody, this is taken care of. Well, there's right. that documentary. What's that documentary called? Um, where no one calls for that woman's murder. Yes, oh, no Katie one calls. Calls. Um, sh- that was actually not true. Plenty of people did call. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, oh. okay. Maria, you that's just what it made. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it made me think. Of. Well, that's what everybody thinks is, of. But it's a real thing, though. Know the podcast Sinisterhood? Yeah, they yes. did an I episode don't, about Kate Genovese. Yeah, there, it's my favorite. I mean, no offense, really? to you guys. They're one yeah, of my yeah, favorite yeah. podcasts. Uh oh. Cool. <laughs> um, they're really, really good, and they did. They just did a two-parter episode <laughs> about Kitty Genovese and how people actually did call the police, and the police didn't do anything. And that's oh, also my instinct. Of, of I'm kind of a. I don't really believe in the police's e- e- efficacy. Yes, sure. Yes. So I was yep. kind of like, I don't really want to get the police involved if there's a mental health crisis going on. Right. Yeah, it's it's hard, hard, right? Kind of, or some kind of accident where paramedics would be of use, but the police could potentially. Right. Like, what are the police going to do? Yes. Right. That's right. why you just have to have like a switch in your head that goes, if someone's screaming at 4 a.m., I'm just going to call the cops and say my address and hang up. Oh, that's because that, that makes me nervous. <laughs> I know because then that takes all the guilt off because then you just go, look, if I hear someone screaming, it may be wrong, but at least I'm calling someone to come check it out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. but I get your point of view because it's literally like, you your mind thinks of every scenario why it wouldn't be an emergency right mm-hmm. that's what your brain does well i, I, make sense be, to I didn't want to be witness to the worst moment of somebody's life you know i was trying yeah. to make it yeah. um, somehow there's been a but, time right. where i feel like i should have called the cops i lived in an apartment complex in los Feliz, and my neighbors i could hear them get into really intense fights sometimes And one time it wasn't a man and a woman. It was a dad and his son, but his son was, it wasn't a little, little boy. It was like a high schooler. Like, like he was probably like 18 or something. What would they fight about? That's so interesting. Like school, like the kid I could tell was like a delinquent. Like when the parents would go out of town, they would like have parties and stuff like that. Um, and I could hear that one. Yeah. I could hear like one time it got physical and I was like, I should call the cops right now. Like I need to do something. And I didn't. And I still think about it all the time. Um, but yeah, it's always but like it that moment like where you're like skirting the line would, would probably have escalated that situation. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like that totally. might've ended up worse. Yeah, Absolutely. that's true. That's yeah. true. So, um, yeah, it's always weird. Like, do what do you do when you hear like when someone's in distress, but also like as a woman, it's like, you don't go over and like try to help or you know no, it's like no, that's no, also no. unsafe yeah like, i didn't i mean yeah. yeah i was also like <laughs> excuse me i heard something about a baby <laughs> 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 like excuse me, sir, your wife lost a baby <laughs> yeah um anyways uh 
Rosie, this is a big one that we're going to have to keep thinking about because I don't really yeah. know. I don't yeah. know. I've I've heard shit and I haven't called. And We've so. all been in that position for sure. It's yeah, hard. Yeah. It's hard. You do yeah. hope someone else is going to do something, right? That's like what goes yeah. through your mind. Like if this was a big deal, out. someone else is going to do something because mm-hmm. someone else understands it more than I do. Yeah. I was just like, I'm a kid. Someone else will figure it out. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm 35. Yeah. Um, well, I'm 22. <laughs> you so I, I'm yeah, so you're still yeah. good. You're so good. You're I can use that experience. excuse for a little while longer. Yeah. yeah. Um, Rosie, thank you so much as usual. It's always so good to hear you. <laughs> Love you guys. All right. Bye, Have Rosie. Thank you. Bye, Rosie. Thanks. Bye. All right. We've got wow. Sammy in the waiting room. That's, uh, we've all been, I've been there. I've literally not called the cops on stuff where I feel what, uh, it's horrible. Yeah. I've heard people screaming at like two in the morning and I'm like, well, I guess someone else will take care of it. I don't it's, know. Yeah. It's, that's why I'm saying like, if the, the, maybe there is just something where you just go, look, if I hear someone screaming, I just call the cops and say, Hey, someone's screaming down the road. Bye. Yeah. It's like, is that illegal? Like what, like what, what constitutes an emergency, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Let's do one more person and then get the, well, we've got two more. We've got, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll let Sammy in. And then if we can get to Taylor, we'll get to Taylor. Okay. Sammy and Taylor, but then we're capping it off. Hi, Sammy. I got to get connecting to audio. Connecting, connecting. <laughs> if you wait too long, it gets soggy. <laughs> okay, now you're muted. Now you're muted, Sammy. Can you unmute yourself? Just go down to your t- bottom left to where the mute is, and can you just um, let me see if that helps. There it is. There, there, there. Hello. There. I missed you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. How's it going? It's been it's been going. I mean, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. You guys, good. Going it off. Talking you guys, so I know everything. You guys have been good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are talking about hot dogs and stuff, and I'm like, have you guys tried a Mexican hot dog? Okay, What's no, but that? that was one of the options. So, what? Tell us what that is. So it's like a, it's a hot dog, it's like you know, and then it's wrapped in bacon, <gasps> and then um, on top of it, you could put grilled onions, you could put grilled jalapeno, like the pepper, mm. grilled oh, like tomatoes. Wow. Oh, and they put is not- that is that like on so on like Hollywood Boulevard and stuff? They have little yes, carts yes, set yes. up. That's and, what I was going to say. After concerts and stuff, you can always smell the most amazing oh, yeah. smell of like dogs. Bacon wrapped with And I've onions. never had one, but there's always people getting them. And I assume you're you're describing what my smells are saying that I <laughs> yes. smell like. Perfectly yeah. said. <laughs> yeah. They always come in clutch. So whenever wow. you want to, uh, every corner to, well. I think so. But yeah, they're amazing. I love them. Like The place I ordered from, now this isn't correct. I think that some white people have taken a lot of liberties with this. <laughs> but they have a Mexicana hot dog and it's cheese, cheddar cheese, Fritos, guacamole, guacamole, gu- guacamole. I don't jalapeno. need guacamole on a hot dog ever. I don't like that. And sour cream. Okay, chili cheese Fritos are delicious. I had some today. Sour but, cream on a hot dog? Yeah, that sounds bad, right? That sounds disturbing. <laughs> you know what I used to eat is I would get, when I played yes. Little League, yes. chili yes. cheese Fritos. Oh, no. Not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> chili cheese Fritos. <laughs> what were you thinking? Some hot dogs that had the cheese in the middle? Yes, oh. those two. Those are good. This thing called a, I think they called it a walking taco. And it was a bag of chili cheese Fritos, like a little mini bag. Oh, yeah. They would put meat in it, like taco meat in it with like cheese and like lettuce and tomato. And you would just mix it up and you would eat the chili cheese Fritos in the bag. It was delicious. They have that at home state. Yeah. Yeah. They do that. They're doing that now. They're also doing it with like fries and other stuff. They're pretty good. Dang. Yeah. Um, 
Well, Sammy, do you have a story for us tonight? Yeah. So I don't know if you guys remember the last time I called in, like right after I hung up, Melissa called me a ghost, which I appreciate, by the way. <laughs> I called you a ghost? <laughs> that yeah, sounds like something I'd say. Yeah, you're like, ghost. And I'm like, right after I saw, I was like, yeah, she's, she's right. It, yeah. So <laughs> I think you are right because according to me, I, it might be a ghost because last year, um, yes, during the pandemic, sorry, um, me and my me and my two friends. Well, my it was for my friend's birthday. She she ordered a she got an Airbnb, and so it was me and my other friend. We went. It was an incline, and so in Tahoe, pretty much, very beautiful, by the way. But um, so we went there. You know, we were like having fun. You know, girls' night. Hey, you know, taking some some liquid courage and all that <laughs> and like it was getting late so it was like around two ish like yeah around one or two ish um that's when we like called it a night and like this place had like an upstairs den like where the kitchen was and like the living room and then downstairs there's like two bedrooms my friend who got the airbnb like the birthday girl she was like hey you you and my so me and my other friend who want not the birthday girl she's um, I'll say her name, Maria is the one who got the Airbnb. She's like, Oh yeah, Maria. So, um, <laughs> so, um, she's like, you two can have one, the room. I'll just sleep upstairs. And we're like, Oh, you sure? She's like, yeah. Cause it was like really hot that night. So we're like, okay. Yeah. She's like, I'll just stay up here. I'll sleep on the couch and have the window open. And we're like, or like the, the balcony door open. And we're like, okay, cool. So I went downstairs and then right away I fell asleep because I was like tired and I, a little drunk. But, you know, <laughs> but yeah, so the next morning, my friend's like, M Maria, she's like, Sammy, did you wake up in the middle of the night and call my name? And I'm like, what? what? I was like, no, dude, I passed out. Why? She's like okay, you're not playing with me, are you? Like, are you pranking me right now? Because, you know, I'm not, I don't like that scary stuff. I'm like, no, I'm being honest. She's like, okay, because last, like, when you left, she said, according to her, she said when I left, she went, she was on the couch, and a few minutes, I don't, she said, like, a, maybe, like, an hour and a, a half an hour later, she heard my voice <sighs> calling her to come downstairs. Ooh. Oh, no. So, yeah. So she, she says she heard my voice. She heard it loud and clear. She's like, Maria, come here. And so oh. she was like, what the heck? So she went downstairs thinking that I was calling her. She goes into the room that I'm sleeping in and she sees that I'm like passed out. Like I'm dead. I'm dead asleep. Like I like. Oh, that's creepy as hell. Yeah. So she ended up like, she's like, fuck this so she ended up going to the room with my <laughs> other friend and sleeping in it and she told my other friend like so I heard like did Sammy wake up and she's like my friend was sleeping she's like no why and she's like well I heard her call my name and then I was like and then when she told me that in the morning I was like no dude I never called your name I literally fell asleep when I the second I hit the bed so oh my god and literally when she told me that story it made me right away think of what Melissa's like oh Sammy you're, you're a ghost you're a ghost holy crap I am <laughs> <laughs> you are, are a ghost, ghost. that's oh, terrifying that's scary there it was is. one time when I was younger I heard I was at my friend's house and I heard I thought I heard my brother go Maria and I was like, I'll be right down. Like, it's scary when you hear it real enough to, like, respond to it. But there was yeah. no one there. Oh, that's not. I, I don't know. I think the, it's I think not Maria great. Is a, uh, I think Maria's a cursed name because Maria, you heard something. <laughs> and then now my other friend, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. Allie's like, yeah, it is. We've yeah. all been thinking that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that, that's, like, really creepy. So I just want to, like, I guess call in and say, yeah, Melissa, you were right. I am. I was host. right. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me out. <laughs> thank you, Sammy. It's always thank so great to talk to you. In. Yeah, Sammy, thank now, you for calling in. Yeah, I love you guys so much. And now I'm going to go order um, some web crawler merch because it's about Hell time. Yeah. I Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs>
Thank you guys. I love you. Thank Take care. You. Bye. Bye, Sammy. Bye. Sammy the ghost. All right, Taylor, we're gonna let you in quick. We're gonna let you in quick because I can feel Allie. I can feel Allie fading like the moon. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's got hot dogs, she is like eating while we're so doing fast. Live. Yeah. And <laughs> the energy is delicious. So brought fast. not. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Hi. 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 Okay, Taylor. Okay, I am. Am I on? Oh, you yeah. are on. Great. So I was calling in because I have a fun cop story. Um, tell it. Two things tell though. It. I'm- one, I'm pretty baked right now, so hopefully <laughs> I'm coherent. Otherwise, I probably would have not called in. Um, and then I just, I have to say, like, okay, so this is a story about a time I called the cops. And Are looking, you a witch? I, I'm just now kind of starting to study. Practicing. You look witchy. <laughs> she has a pentagram <laughs> necklace. Well, I also oh, live in oh. so. <laughs> Okay, sorry, oh. continue. Uh, but yeah, so this is about a time I called the cops and I just want to say like, this is a situation where I regret calling the cops. We didn't, uh, I lived by a lot of houseless people at the time that had a lot of mental health crises. Yes. So I just, I just want to say that up top. Um, okay. but so <laughs> I was in college and I lived in a house with like five other girls. It was too many. Um, but I, so I shared a room. And we are woken up at two in the morning to our doorbell being rung. And so it was rung and we like both woke up and we're like, was that the doorbell? And then didn't hear anything. So we like start to go back to bed and then we hear the doorbell again. And we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> someone is at our door and it's two in the morning. Like, oh. not okay. Um, and so we kind of just were like, okay, let's see if it passes. And then they just kept ringing the doorbell and oh. like sat there for like, I'd say it was a good 30 minutes of someone just occasionally bringing, oh. not knowing what to do. Um, we tried to call my roommate's brother who lived nearby first and he didn't pick up. So <laughs> <call 911. laughs> and like someone keeps ringing our doorbell. Like we don't know what's going on. Like, cause we're like, maybe someone's trying to break in. I don't know. Like ringing the doorbell to break in. <laughs> <laughs> One of my other friends is like, I heard that there's this tactic that burglars will use where they'll like leave your home first what? and then break in. So we were like freaking what? out. But yeah. we don't so we call the cops. Cops get here and the cops knock on the door and they're like, hey, yeah, we're looking around. We don't see anyone. Um, and so we had this weird entryway where um, it was like our entryway that there was a door right next to it for the garage. And, oh, okay, this is what was, what happened. Our door was unlocked. So we were freaking out. So he was like, I could check out your garage for you. <laughs> so he opens up the garage and it's my roommate and her date for the night <laughs> hooking up in the garage. <laughs> and so it's like thinking like she never she said like it wasn't her ringing the doorbell but thinking back it's like they're probably like hooking up outside and they kept the the doorbell, and we were like <gasps> <laughs> and so the cops walk in on my roommate and her day fully nude in the garage. oh my god up in the garage like that's so <laughs> that's so oh my god funny. that's so amazing but oh yeah. my god <sighs> We'll yeah. see. Moral of the you story, never, know. never call the cops. Exactly. Yeah. Just someone you know. else. <laughs> oh, um, my God. Oh, and I had really quick a food recommendation. This isn't a hot dog, but it's yes. just gross food. <laughs> Not a um, hot dog. <laughs> one, do y'all get down with Del Taco to start? Hell yeah. I've never had it before, but I'm, I'm open to oh, it. Oh, it's good. Okay. So it's this good this meal got me to college <laughs> because it's <laughs> poor. Um. Del Taco, you go there and you get their half pound red burrito and you ask for a bolt. And it's like, so the total comes, it's like a dollar sixty something. And it's just a bean and cheese burrito, and they put in fries and their taco sauce. And it is the best. 
It is so good. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, My what is it called? God. But what what is the burrito called? So you get the just the half pound red burrito. It's like their cheapest pound pound red burrito. Bolt. Yeah. Bolt. Yeah. And oh, I mean, God. all dead tacos in California should know. I've tried up here in Oregon and I've gotten some weird looks, but it's like secret I'll menu. Yeah. <laughs> secret yeah, no, it's yeah, it's not on the menu. Okay. It's, okay. okay. I will be eating one of those next live show. Ooh. Nice. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Press me in the best. <laughs> um, Taylor, thank you, thank you so much. This was so um, amazing. You. Really appreciate it. Y'all are thank wonderful. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good the night. Bye. 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 Wow. Guys, another one for the books. Um, great live show. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to walk walk the dogs. I I don't know why I spelled out dogs and not walk. Um, anyways, <laughs> a lot. Uh, we covered a lot tonight. We talked about the cops. We talked about ghosts. We talked about yeah. pranks. I learned how much I love a Chicago dog. Um, Chicago dog, Del Taco <laughs> secret menu. Bold. Um, I mean, there's nothing bold. that we didn't. Cover. I'll have my burrito bold. 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 I like my burritos like I like my women. Bold. 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 <laughs> like I like my font. Full of beans <laughs> and unapologetic. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways guys uh i am ali siegel i am melissa bold stetton <laughs> and i'm maria bold placucci i guess i'm ali bold siegel then if everyone's doing yes you are now. um all right thanks for calling in and listening bye guys bye, bye. Original. Powered by ACAST.